Today I feel like going back to bed and the idea of doing my usual Sunday kosher meal prep routine feels like doing homework. To help me get into a better frame of mind, I air out my room. I dress with comfy clothes. And I wear a pretty tichel. I put on my running shoes because it literally puts a spring in my steps. And I will start my day with completing a small task to have a sense of accomplishment. So I will make my bed. This way, whatever happens in the day, at least I will end my day in a fresh bed. Yesterday night I was so tired, so I let Rumba do the cleaning and I left the chairs on the tables and I also left the dishes to dry overnight. So my first step will be to do the cleaning of the kitchen. I start a brand new day around the moon is Once that is done, I will make myself a pretty coffee just because I need the extra TLC not to go back to bed. The order I placed yesterday night for everything I need for the week and Shabbat just arrived and if you want to see my complete process on how I plan, prepare and build my menus for the week and Shabbat, let me know in the comments below. So let's start cooking! I start with the barbecue chicken because it's the meal that takes the longest to cook but it's the easiest to make. I rinse thoroughly the chicken and make sure that all the gunk goes away. Then I will pat dry the chicken and put it aside. In a bowl I will put paprika, garlic, mustard powder, pepper, barbecue chicken spice and salt. I will mix everything. I add about two tablespoons of olive oil on the chicken and massage the oil everywhere. I usually use half a can of beer but here I did not have a can of beer so I emptied a can of soda and filled it halfway with beer. But sometimes, in all honesty, I use soda instead of beer and it is as delicious. Add two teaspoons of the spice mixture and if you're like me and you don't have a small funnel, simply roll a paper towel in a cone and voila! Add two cloves of garlic cut in quarters in the can as well. I clean baby potatoes with a veggie brush, making sure every nook and crannies are free of earth and bugs. I add them to a 9 by 13 baking tray. I add some oil and I make sure that all the potatoes are coated with the oil. I add about 2 tablespoons of the spice mixture and I set them aside. In a Ziploc bag, I'm gonna put the rest of the spice mixture and then I will add the chicken. <laughs> Sometimes you have to push the chicken a little bit forcefully in the bag. And then I will close the bag to make sure that the spices do not go everywhere. I give a good shake and after a few seconds, your chicken will be fully coated with the spices, avoiding a big mess. I place the chicken on the can I sprayed the chicken with some avocado oil to have extra crispiness on the outside. And it is ready to go into the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit 
for an hour and a half to one hour and three quarter depending on the weight of your chicken and I will leave in the description box the time depending on the weight. I continue my kosher meal prep for the week with our sweet and sour chicken. I put one tablespoon of oil in a pan. Then I remove the two outer layers of the onion. I cut it and then coarsely chop the onion. To make sure the oil is at the right temperature, I will put the handle of a wooden spoon in the oil and if it bubbles, the oil is ready. I will cook the onions until golden. While the onion is cooking, I will cut some green and red bell peppers. I will add them to the golden onions and I will let them cook covered for about five minutes. While they are cooking, I'm going to remove the fat from these chicken thighs. I don't know about you, but in my family, if there's even a little bit of fat on the chicken thighs, the children will not eat them. I cut the chicken thighs in strips and I will add them to a Ziploc bag. I add the sauce here is going to be some sweet chili sauce and I mix everything together. I will leave it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. I remove the peppers and onions from the heat and usually I try to prepare at least two to three meals that are meat free during the week but because it is Rosh Chodesh this week and we have the custom to eat meat on Rosh Chodesh, I will make an extra meal with meat. So I will do some schnitzel. I cut my chicken breast in three. For the coating, I'm going to use this gluten-free and also some shake and bake. In a bowl, I'm going to put two to three eggs and of course, before using them, I'm going to check them to make sure that there are no blood spots which would render the egg unkosher. I beat the eggs lightly and I use the same trick as before to make sure the oil is ready. I take my chicken breast and I dip it into the eggs, I let it drip slightly, and then I put it in the breadcrumbs. I make sure that every part of the chicken breast is completely covered with breadcrumbs, then I will put it in the oil. I repeat the process with every chicken breast. I let them cook for about two to three minutes until golden. Once that they are cooked, I'm going to remove them from the oil and put them on a paper towel. Then from the paper towel, I will put them on a baking sheet, cover them with aluminum foil, and I will bake them at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes once the oven is free. We are going to eat the schnitzels with fresh green beans, so I simply cook some red onion, add clean green beans, and let it cook for about five minutes on medium heat. I add a bit of Mrs. Dash or any kind of seasoning, really. Mix everything together, and you're ready. We're going to complete the sweet and sour chicken. We're gonna reheat a little bit the peppers and add the chicken pieces. Mix everything together, then cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes. After that time, I will add some paprika, garlic, salt, pepper and parsley. I will mix everything together and you're going to see that very fast the sauce will thicken and you will have these beautiful golden pieces at the bottom of the pan. This is the telltale sign that it's ready. I will transfer everything into a glass container, cover it. We're going to enjoy this sweet and sour chicken with some noodles. Now that I am done cooking and baking the chicken, I'm going to rinse and clean every part of the kitchen thoroughly because I'm always worried about salmonella infection. Because of the weather, I am craving some comfort food, so I will do some fish nuggets. I take tuna, then I mix paprika, garlic, parsley, and salt. I add three egg yolks. I add some breadcrumbs. You can use gluten or gluten-free. I add oil and water. Then I mix everything together until I reach a thick consistency. 
With slightly damp hands, I'm going to form patties. I'm going to try to make them as uniform as possible to have even cooking time. I will repeat the process. And for the kiddos, I will make a ball. Then I will flatten it slightly to make like a fish nugget. I will beat thoroughly two eggs, add my breadcrumbs to another bowl, add some oil to a preheated pan, and dip my nuggets into the egg, then into the breadcrumbs, and I will make sure again that it's fully coated. Once that I'm done, I'm gonna put them in the heated oil and I will leave them about one to two minutes until golden. I will flip them and I will let them cook for about another minute or so. Once they're fully cooked, I'm gonna put them on a clean paper towel. I continue the same process with the fish patties and they will cook even faster, so I will cook them about one minute per side. They are so delicious, they are so crunchy. Listen to this. And when you bite into them, they are perfect. We usually accompany them with a salad and some Turkish rice. For a Thursday meal, I want for us to eat a delicious but easy meal because I usually do most of my Shabbat prep on Thursday. I buy pre-made falafel balls and we add them to the pita with salads, cucumber, tomatoes and trina and it is so good. So this week we ate on Sunday for Rosh Chodesh the schnitzels and the green beans, on Monday the fish nuggets, salad and rice, on Tuesday the sweet and sour chicken and noodles, Wednesday the barbecue chicken with potatoes and salad, and Thursday the falafel and salad. I would love to know, what is your typical menu during the week? Please write them in the comments below. I would encourage you to watch this Shabbat meal prep as a follow-up. Thank you so much to have watched until the end. It means the world to me. Please write in the comments if you have watched so far. I love meal prep, so I know I was not alone. If nobody told you today, you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.